Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in to Animix Outdoors. I haven't done a video for a while. I've been real busy with work and I'm in the process of getting another job. Got a few interviews and stuff already, so things have been busy. But I'm back at the camp and I've done a lot of things without recording in my spare time. Just haven't had time for the whole record and I'm in the process of trying to get another camera. I know the quality isn't great and I apologize, but I'm looking into it. This camera that I'm using is an old Sony camera and its quality is just dropped. So I'm in the process of doing that. But I got something cool for us all today. I'm going to show you a few things that I've already done. So let's get started. All right, some off screen stuff that I did. Put a few screws in for my stuff to hang. I upgraded some of the tarp, adjusted some things. I even added some gravel into the shelter. I raised the ground inside the shelter. The dirt is up, so any water gets around, it should it should um, should stay pretty dry in there. The only thing I'm concerned with is spiders. I don't like spiders. I'll sleep with any other bug in the world. Doesn't matter. Even centipedes. I don't care. But spiders hate them. Uh, daddy long legs are nothing. They. Pfft, I'm talking about the fat, furry ones that look like they'll kill your cat. Yeah, <laughs> not a fan. But today, I really, really want to accomplish my last wall. I was blessed by my father, because I, uh, if some of my friends that come here, they know how small this land is and how much tree access I don't have. I gotta be careful what trees I take and what trees I don't. I share kind of land here and I don't want to be taking other people's trees, so. I headed to my father's house and he's got some deep, pretty decent woods and I uh, was very fortunate to gather, gather some wood from him. I already prepped some stakes for the new walls. I didn't, I don't have enough of them yet, but those aren't hard to come by. Some of those small trees are easy to find. So that's my goal today. I need to get the bug net up. Oh, that's my favorite part. I can't wait to do that. Let's do that first. Let's get started. A few videos back, I had a bug net that was a little too short. This time I did the I did it right, and uh, it's perfect. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit today. Get her up with this. All right, so this looks a lot better. And then like I have some gaps around the corners, but I don't think it's really necessary to completely airtight it, you know? So, but it's looking good. Next step, the wall. I need to sharpen a few more sticks from the first one. I like to get these real sharp. They go in a lot more efficiently. Alright, that ought to do it. Nothing wrong with a little overkill. I don't think it needs to be too sharp to go in the ground, especially if it's a little damp out, but a uh, little practice whittle ain't gonna hurt none.
because our uh, ground here is a lot tougher and the roots of this tree are going to impact our wall. The only possible way for me to get the supports up for the walls is to add dirt to this ground area. All right, so I have a few to spare. I got a little bit more work to do, but check it out. It's not too bad. It exceeds the height a little bit of the other wall, but it's all right. I think it's gonna sink a little bit anyway. Once I uh, adjust it a bit, I need to add a little bit more dirt. Um, it's holding better than I was expecting. I was nervous that uh, it wasn't, but when, once you get these things tight enough, I don't know if you saw it, but I was struggling to get them in here because they are tight to pull apart once you get them in there, but it keeps them strong and even if they're not too deep in the ground, it still keeps them together. And with that brush growing in there with it, hoping that'll help support it because it's dug in with roots. So I'm going to add dirt on either side and bury these a little bit deeper than what they are since I can't push them down any further. And that should add to the strength, no problem. Plus with the tree hanging onto it, it's not going to lean that way. So that's it. Well guys, I was lucky enough to find some wood in my backyard that was, uh, it was a dead tree, but it worked. I don't got much time left on this crappy camera, so... Hey, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Take care.